Welcome everyone to the video reviews where we review every single BE video on its 28 of December 31st or January 1st of 1999. The internet really doesn't seem to know. And honestly, I have been getting so many requests of this video. Seriously, you guys wouldn't shut the hell up about this video. Honestly. Like, I've been getting requests for like the last five months about people asking me to do a Baby Bach review. Well, here it is. And also, I'm recording this on December 22nd, um, and I was originally going to do it on December 31st until I realized I have something else going on that I'm going to be doing for an upcoming video also on December 31st. But, you know, I decided to actually do the Baby Bach review right now just so, you know, we can have this pain in the ass out of the way because literally, look at how many shit I got from the video. I'm not even kidding, guys. Look at all this shit. It's, um, it's literally a lot, honestly. And guess what? We're all going to be going through all this stuff today in this video. So buckle your seatbelts and get ready for an adventure. <laughs> get it? Because, you know, um, musical adventure. Get it? <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be doing... Um, we're going to be looking at all of these. All right, so we got three VHSs. Um, two DVD, actually, no, three DVDs, sorry, um, a CD, a police school toy, and about 33 toys. Yeah, I said 33. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's go through all of them first. Let's first go through the VHSs. So, let's go, let's look at Baby Bach 1998 first. So, here's the front, back, side, other side, top. Really no point to actually do those. Um, here's the tape. Right here. No um, ink label. Also, I would actually really love to know when this was actually made. Obviously, it was probably made in, like, I don't know, January 1999. I'm not really sure, but you know what? Um, so here we have the 2000. Now, I actually thought this was 1999 because... Oh, actually, no, wrong tape, but you know what? Screw this. This was actually my first ever Savers find and or my first ever VHS tape I ever gotten. So, yeah, here's the tape of the Bach 2000 FHE, and uh, here it is. Um, print date is um, October 14th, 2000. All right, so here's the VHS tape I'm talking about. This one, I actually thought this was 1999 at first, but then when I looked, when I put it in the VCR, it was actually 2000 or 2002. I don't really know. This I seen this VHS um coming in the uh, 2002 cases, so I'm not really sure if this is 2002 or 2000. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. But either way, I actually thought this was 1999 based on the sticker label. I was very confused though, so. I mean, it was a good reason to buy the lot anyways. I mean, it had a rare um, error from a, Mo from a Mozart 2000 VHS tape, and it had a Van Gogh 2000, um, 2002. So, you know what? I don't really fucking care. Next up, we have the three DVDs. Here's the trio. We first got Bach 2002. Don't even say anything, Max. So, here is the back. I'm not going to show the fucking... Um, top and bombs because that's just fucking useless here's the disc here's 2003 and uh, let's uh, take a look at this thing because you know this thing kind of looks interesting right I mean it just shows like all this information it shows uh, the books which I actually own in like the tub version this side, it has an, the other two, um, and it show thing. Um, I actually own that book as well. Same with these two and these ones as well. And I do have a few of the Discovery cards too, which I will do in another video. Um, so here we have the, a book that I actually used to have. Um, actually, two of them, actually. This is another book I actually used to own. 
This one I still own. You guys probably remember that from my Shakespeare review last time. And this was actually the book that I actually meant to actually show also in the Baby Shakespeare review. Just because it also has to do with rhymes. And, you know, rhymes are like poems and all that shit. You know. But, you know, that will be at the end of the year video where I show, like, everything that came before. I mean, like, stuff that I forgot to do in the review or stuff that I got after the reviews. So, yeah, that will be included. And then this book, I don't know if I actually owned it. I don't think I ever, I, I don't think I've ever did, but you know what? So, shoot. Come on. Freaking page thing. Here we are. Here's a book that I also own, this Van Gogh book that you guys probably remember seeing in my Van Gogh review. Oh, disc. Another book that you guys probably remember, again, it was in my World Animals review. Um, a Shakespeare book that I also used to own. I don't know where it is now, though. I haven't seen it in, like, five years, so, yeah. Um, here we have um, the Newton book that I also own, and a Number of Nursery book that I also owned. Oh, and, the sh and another one, too, the Shape one. All those will, um, the two Shape ones will be coming up in my Newton review, don't worry. I also own the 365-day book, and I don't own these two books, but I do own the 365-day book. Um, it's literally right, um, there. Like, literally, it's right there. How can you guys not see that if you guys are blind? Alright, so here we have three books that, um, no, two books, sorry, that I also don't own. But honestly, that is a shit-looking, uh, reindeer puppet. They tried to actually make Rudy reindeer. We actually, and then we have the... This discovery jumper, which actually I also found out that see that bird right there, yeah, oh, and also that duck that's where they that actually got um came from the language nursery 2004 duck, yeah, you know that one, the Vivaldi one that I also own that actually came from this. If you guys didn't know, which I'm pretty sure everyone does, well, I'm just gonna point out to you guys that's actually where it came from. We also got the numbers nursery blocks and then the caterpillar. And then we have all the puppets. I actually own the octopus, Pavlov, the line with the rainbow thing. Uh, I own uh, the horse and bard and Jane, but they're all kids too. I own the cow, but it's also kids too. The tiger's getting the tiger's already torn up. Duck, I lost. I don't have it anymore. Van Gogh is kids too. Rudy Reindeer is also, well, torn up. And then the Kangaroo is all right. So, honestly, the only ones that are actually good are the Lion and the Kangaroo. And that's literally just it. Oh, yeah, Pavlov's also kind of fine all right, too. Then we got the, I don't know, an example of some or whatever. Also shows what, I think they're, no, nah, they're DVDs. I thought they were VHS for a second. And then we actually have this, which I never actually saw before. I actually own the Neptune one, which will be coming up in the Neptune review um, soon, next year. Then, yeah, that's literally it. Let's just go back to the Bach review, all right? So we have the disc and the parent's guide. Let me show you guys the parent's guide real quick. And honestly, even if it, that one, I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, it did. I'm not going to bother to even show that one because I'm pretty sure that one's like shit. This one actually shows more information. It shows, like, the order of the video and a few of the toys. Unlike Mozart, that one kind of fucked up. And then we got 2004, which is literally the same thing. Same DVD thing as the uh, same DVD parent guide. Although it's 2004, so I guess that's difference. Also, when I first got this, it was all scratched up. So luckily, I it's called a shirt. You wipe the disc on, and then you just put it back in. See if it's all right, which I'm pretty sure... Most cases, maybe it's like a 50 50 chance, but yeah, you guys all know the case from now on. Oh, and I forgot to put this in, I'll do it after, probably in like in an hour. We have the box CD, which again, just like the Beethoven one, if you guys well, if you guys saw that, literally, it doesn't have a case. Like, the only one that actually does have the real case with it is Vivaldi, and you know, I got that one on Amazon. It's also the most recent um, CD I've ever owned, all right, so. All right, next up, we have the, a play school toy. Oh, yay. So I so we have the Bach touch-and-play pipes. I actually own two of them. 
Um, selling one on eBay right now, although I'm pretty sure it's having some listing issues because I haven't been able to upload any listings in like a few days because it has like a PayPal's issue and shit. So, yeah, good luck with that. But it does play eight songs. Goldberg Variation 4, Jesus Joy, Minuet and G, Goldberg Variation 30, Brandenburg and Turtle 4, Brandenburg and Turtle 8, Brandenburg and Turtle 6, Flute Sonata, I don't even know which number, and then, yeah. And then, it plays three different ones. Honestly, this has to be the most common out of the, uh, what, the four play school toys that I think? Yo, how come Language Nursery doesn't have a play school toy, but Bach, Mozart, Van Gogh, and Shakespeare have one? How come not Language Nursery? Like, that's something I don't get. How, so, how come my favorite song is not in here either? I'm blaming play school for this one. Alright, anyways, let's go on to possibly what's everyone's favorite part and possibly... <sighs> The longest one yet. In fact, this is possibly going to be the longest review ever. Honestly, guys, this was a pain in the ass to do, alright? Pain in the ass to actually find all the toys, like, put them all out, check them off and shit. Like, this took me at least an hour to actually do, guys. I know, I'm just kidding. It took me, like, 30 minutes, but still. This was still a pain in the ass to do. And screw this, we're doing it. Just because, you know, hey, it's fucking Bach. Alright, so first up, alright, get, alright, you guys need to, get, yeah. possibly gonna find a place for all these after, after I reveal them all. First up, we got the two Cornelius chickens. Obviously, we got one, which is the one I got off of eBay. You can tell because of the one on the bottom, the press. I got the press one on eBay, and then I got this one at Savers, which is the OG one. Um, sadly, it doesn't work because the jaw just doesn't move anymore, so that sucks. Although it still plays the uh, song. Don't know what the cause of it was, but I'm hoping to fix it soon. If any of you Jammy, um, Jemmy fans want to help me out with this, then that's great. Um, but this one does work. Works like a charm. Worst thing is, you can't even turn it off. Also, I still have the tag with it, too, for some odd reason. Don't know why. This seems like a valuable thing, I guess. But yeah, I still got the tag on for this one. I'm possibly never going to take it off, because you know what? Fuck it. Alright, next. The Winkle, even though it's not even exact, and not even the version from BE at all, I'm still going to put it in the review anyways, just because it was a Winkle's first appearance. In a BE video, alright? So I obviously put a piece of yarn on there just to, you know, make it spin. It spins kind of beautifully. I'm possibly going to get the Galileo one soon. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, this, according to a few people, this one was actually recalled, I think. I and mean, I saw it on a news station too, on YouTube, so don't blame them. But yeah, I don't know why this one was actually recalled when, you know, we got a guy Leo one and a Bach one and like a, like a, like a bunch of other ones out there. So I don't know why this toy was actually just what this one version was recalled, but not the other ones. But yeah, it's still a good toy. I actually like it a lot, even if it's not the exact one. It's really cool. But yeah, let's move on. Oh yeah, and I actually forgot. You know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. Screw this. I actually forgot something, and I, you know. Alright. Alright. Got it. Alright, let's let's uh, let's move on. So, yeah, we don't have the Machine Ball Factory, but guess what? We do have Redbot Cosmos, although it's not exact, but you know what? I don't care. I got this on SD this year for Easter. And my mom is saying that I actually did used to have this when I was little, but, you know, I actually do kind of think I did have it. I'm not really sure, but, you know, I own it now, so what do I know? 
But yeah, um, at first, this thing, like, literally, like, had the magnet falling out, so I had to tape it on. And then sometimes, every once in a while, this, the red part and, uh, like, the black things would fall off. And, you know, I have to put them back on. Especially this one. This one's always a pain in the ass to put back on. I literally have to always get my dad to do it. And, you know, it's always a pain in the ass. But, yeah, I actually do love this toy a lot. It was... Very difficult to find, even though it's still on SD um, today, but it took me forever to actually find one, though, until I realized it was on SD. Yeah, they were sold on eBay back in 2015, though. Really cool. Alright. Oh, shit. Hopefully that's... Nope, it didn't. Good. Alright, we're moving you over. And then now on to the Jupiter. I'm still going to include it, even though it's not exact. Um, I got this on Office Playground back in 2015 for my, for, um, this is actually one of the connects I actually got for Christmas back in 2015. Um, so yeah, obviously my 2015 Christmas was basically all Office Playground toys. I was actually very surprised that, like, it, it was literally a giant box full of, like, 21 Office Playground stuff. Well, actually, not 21, but it had a lot. And this was actually one of them, and I was actually surprised that actually, um, no, I actually got it because I would never actually think these were actually there again until I realized that they were actually on Amazon. Still calm as fuck. But, you know, here's it's still one of my favorites. I actually used to think that this part, the, like the magnets part, were actually like a watch for some reason. I don't know why I thought that, but, you know, I got weird thoughts. You know me. Yeah, this is a very cool connect. I would I would seriously highly recommend everyone to get this. Alright, let's oh damn it. I think that's why it's, uh, it's a little difficult here. Alright, so let me just move these things over. Alright. Next up we got the rolling don't even know what the thing's called, but the rattle that Sierra was shaking. Not exact, but, you know, fun fact, um, I actually, um, you know, I actually used to go to a, uh, school, I think it was, like, a dance school, I think, I think it was a dance school, I'm not really 100% sure, but they actually had the exact one there, not even kidding here, the exact one, I was pretty shocked, too, sadly I couldn't take it home, though, because obviously, property, but yeah, still, it was pretty amazing. I actually, um, was actually, I didn't actually realize it was actually that rare, the version, until, uh, you know, a few years later. I joined the community until I actually realized it was rare, but, you know, hell, I actually found this one at Savers, and even though it's not exact, fuck it, I'm still gonna include it. So, yeah, this is, it's called Rolling Rattle because, you know, the rules and all that shit, but, you know what, call it whatever you want, I'm pretty sure it's just for like an orchestra rattle. So it's pretty cool. Hell, even if I find another one of these or even the exact one at a savers or any or anything, I'll give I would possibly give this one away to you guys. Or the new one. Depending on the condition, alright? Or the size. Or whatever. Alright, next up. Xylon Dragon. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention there was literally, I actually had the old, I grew up with the old version, and nothing in Baby Bach actually scared me at all. Not even the Xylon Dragon. Just a fun fact for, you know, you guys. But yeah, this is not the exact one, but uh, my mom got this as an unexpected Christmas present back in 2017. You know, when I first joined the community. And I know it's not exact, but it is the one that DJ owns. But still, it's still called the Xylon Dragon, but you know what? Whatever. It's still made by Manhattan. Kind of the same thing. You know, it still has the gold um, things. And although I don't think it had teeth in the original, it's still pretty cool. Although I'd love to own the original one too, though. Really cool. No! <laughs> Yeah, just a little remake for you guys. Alright, on to the next toy. 
which is the lollipop drum. It didn't come with a stick though, but I don't care. You know, I can still use it for other things like banging it on the side. Um, but yeah, here it is. I'm pretty sure it's made by Remo. I'm guessing, but you know, still really cool. Oh yeah, it is made by Remo. If you guys can see there. But yeah, it's really cool. I think they come in all different sizes too, I think. But I'm pretty sure this was the size that they used in the video, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's move on to the next toy. Super stacking tops. Uh, oh, shoot, drumming clown. All right, so I have two sets. Um, one, obviously, is broken, so I can't use them anymore, although I could just hold them in my hands. Let me put this down for like two seconds so I can, like I can still twist it, but you know, it's just going to go fucking crazy. This. As for this one, this one still has a piece to it, but I'm not going to risk it, like breaking it. Because you know, I, don't, I already have two sets. Like I don't want to get a third one right now at the moment I don't. I just want to keep getting rare fucking toys. You know, to make all of you bastards just jealous. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just fun, trying to fuck with you guys. Alright, but anyways, they are two different sets. Obviously, you can tell the difference between the two of them. Um, probably, except for, like, the two of them. But, you know, you can obviously tell by the colors, though. Alright, so here... Wait a second. Here are the two sets... So, I got this one first, and then I got this one, um, you know, the recent one I got. I didn't get this one recently, I'm just saying. This is, like, the older one I have. But, yeah, let's, uh, put them all back. I'm not gonna show this one, though, because I, like I said, I don't want to risk it. Alright, next up we have the, possibly the most unexpected toy. And, honestly, I was not expecting to even get this. On Christmas on Christmas Day, this was literally possibly one of the most unexpected um, items I've ever gotten, and you guys probably already know what it is. The Sun Pendulum, the 2004 one. Obviously, I took the eye, the tape off the eyes, just for this video. Well, you know, I took the eyes off in general, the tape off the eyes. But yeah, this one I actually, my aunt actually got this on eBay, and this the seller was actually in my state and even more shocking it was actually in the town i actually own a cape house uh, well actually my aunt owns a cape house actually my second aunt but you know even more surprisingly it's also the town that pug lives in which i'm not gonna reveal i'm not gonna reveal because you know it's his personal information but you know it's you know the sun just get back to that um, I also think that the Sun Pendulum is actually possibly one of the coolest toys ever, even if it is 2004. But honestly, it's kind of shocking to know that the that the the original one is one of a kind. So that's a little bit of a shocker. But this one, you know, this one's more common, and I was not expecting to get this at all. I thought I was gonna get something else like a sunny singing sunflower or something. Actually, it was either this or singing sun or the um sunny singing sunflower that I was either getting. And honestly, when I heard the name of the sun pendulum, I was my mind was fucking blown. Honestly, I was totally shocked. You guys will also have to wait for this Christmas because I actually already know what I actually got from my aunt this year. But for those who don't know, you guys can guess in the comment section. But I already know, though. I already know. I'm not telling you guys until Christmas. Anyways, next toy is the Bubble Bear. Possibly one of the one of the toys that I'm actually known for having. But honestly, like, you know, Bimbley and Pug also own this. So, you know, possibly one of them. I'm act This is one of my... Um, one of the best toys. Um, obviously, in the past, it had some battery issues, so I fixed it with the tin foil, and, you know, I, um, stripped the screw, so that's screwed already. 
But yeah, this is possibly one of the best toys I've ever owned. Not because it's rare. Like, it's one of my rarest toys, but, you know, it's pretty cool. Plays three songs. Um, What was it? Um, It's either Twinkle Twinkle or ABCs. I'm thinking it's Twinkle Twinkle. It also owns London Bridge and Old MacDonald. And actually, a more fun fact. You guys know that good I made on YouTube who owns this? This is actually his. Um, last year, I actually asked him to see if he can sell it on eBay, since, you know, his title thing says selling for eBay. I asked him, he listed it for a bid, if it was, like, 32 bucks. Honestly, I couldn't take it for 32 bucks, but, you know, my mom bid it on it anyways. And literally on December 14th of last year, I won the bid. And I was pretty shocked, and I thought it was going to be a delay, which it was. It was supposed to arrive way sooner, but, you know, it arrived just in time for the New Year's, though. It arrived on December 31st. Kind of a, uh, right on time for the New Year's, which I just said. But, like I said, I was the second one on this. Bimbley was the first, and Pug was the third. Um, and actually, he actually got his the day we actually first met up, so that was kind of a shocker for probably a lot of people, if you guys know Pug. But yeah, this was possibly one of the best toys I've ever owned. Like, if you guys need a size comparison, then compare it to here. Actually, no, compare it to the Winkle. A lot of people have the Winkle. Just compare it to that. That's literally how big it is. Comparing it to the Winkle. That's literally how big. It was very smaller than I expected, though. So, but it was worth it. Like I said, it was it was $32, but like I said, it was worth it. All right, pile, moving on to the next toy. Sorry, favorite toy, you gotta move. Because you're right behind the next toy I'm about to review, which is the Wonderland Bear Band. Um, I actually got this back in 2017, before Christmas. Not at Christmas, before. It was like October. Um, what I remember, I don't really remember that much about this toy, but I think what happened was I was on a call one time. My mom called me in and... Shut the fuck up. And, um, my mom said that the seller for this sent us an offer. And, you know, it was like $19. And, well, we accepted the offer and, you know, it came. Not exact, though, but you know what? I don't care. Plays 12 songs and I plugged all three of the items in. So, yeah, this is one of them. Plays 12 Christmas songs. Not gonna go through them all though, so I'll possibly just go through half of them. Oh. Also, the volume can also turn on and off, by the way. If you turn this way, that's literally turned down the volume and off, but if you turn it on it will also go up pretty a nice idea but yeah that's <coughs> <coughs> but yeah that's literally kind of it for this toy um this is actually a pretty cool toy they're really common on ebay i actually did not realize that these were actually that like common but if you look on ebay they are seriously common just look up wonderland bear band then you'll realize how common they are if you guys don't know yet these are actually common. But yeah, um, does have a little bit of dust on them from like me not dusting them. But you know what? Honestly, just don't care. I'll dust them soon. Alright, so next actually what is next? Tudor trumpet, I think. Yeah. Here's the Tudor trumpet. Um, the exact one. So here's what I think happened. I was on eBay. Someone was selling this and another Tommy toy for 30 bucks, And me and my mom, we contacted the seller, and we asked if he can accept, like, what? $15 for this? $15 seems like a lot for this toy, but you know what? It's kind of worth it just because, you know, it's rare. Um... But yeah, um, I actually was a little shocked to actually find this on eBay. Um, 
But yeah, the seller did accept it. He separated it from the lot, but in like in a hilarious way. He literally just trimmed the photo. Um, and it was literally just like that. And he literally did the same thing for the other toy too. So if you guys ever think you actually ever came across that toy back then, and you actually think he was selling the two trumpet too, then it's not true. Because two trumpet came to me. Don't know what year this was made in though. I know it was made by Tomy. But I don't know exactly what year. I'm guessing somewhere in the 90s. Because, you know, it looks like a 90s toy. I do love the design, though, of the sticker. Looks pretty amazing. I also do like the back, too. It's like the, what, four? No, three birds on there. With all the music notes. Actually pretty amazing. And it plays Mary Had a Little Lamb. Doesn't really matter which bu um which button you push. It will literally just play. It's literally just like one of those music boxes, which is literally another good idea for Tommy. Like why does Tommy have the best and the most disturbing toys ever? Which I'm not going to get into detail because yes, some Tommy toys are disturbingly terrible and a little sexual. Yeah, that's literally it. You can't blow into it, so if you actually thought of blowing into it, don't, because, you know, you're not going to get anything. But, yeah, the pieces here are about are literally loose, so they can come off at possibly any time if you, like, throw it against the wall, which I'm not going to do, so don't even ask for an example. All right, next up is possibly my most recent toy that I got from Bach, the Octopus Puppet, which I've done in my review literally just recently and there's Bentley barking but yeah here's the octopus oh sorry but yeah this was made by folk mantis I don't know what year though but I know that it was made in folk by folk mass. The thing that pisses me off about this um, puppet, though, is that it literally has eight tentacles, and I only have five fingers. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this one? Like, what, am I supposed to put my other hand in there and just do that? Because that would just be complicated. I don't want to destroy this toy, though, because it already has a stitch on the top, so... <coughs> so I, I still need to stitch it, though. But yeah, say your last goodbyes... Still have, like, half the toys to do, so, yeah, go. Um, alright, next up we have, alright, saxophone from 2004. Honestly, I don't understand why they actually replaced the original saxophone, just because they didn't even replace it in Beethoven either. Although, I can see why, though, they didn't replace it in Beethoven, because, you know, it was a little kid that was playing it, and, you know, they couldn't reshoot it because, you know, the ten years... They didn't actually replace any of the um, scenes until, like, 2008, which I don't know why. But, yeah, this one... Oh. Okay, that never happened before. Okay, what the fuck? Don't know what just happened there, but, you know... Um, it has buttons. Oh, shit. And then it has, oh, shut up, it has these buttons right here. Alright, this one right here kind of reminds me of the One Million Bear Band for some reason. I don't know, I don't really don't know why though, but. Alright, and this one just plays like a bunch of sh damn ass songs. Well, some of them I don't know, some of them I do know, but two of them are actually from BE and that's it. This one, Ode to Joy. And then Minuet in G from Bach, which is actually possibly a great one. They could have just uh, did like a video, like a clip of this, like this, with uh, the song playing. I mean, that would have been hilarious. Yeah, but instead they just did a lame ass picture, which, you know, I'm fine with. Although, what I'm noticing is that this one's not even doing anything, so shouldn't this one be playing? Really don't know. Yeah, let's have a let's have a Shakespeare reference in here. 
Actually, no, it's this one. Yeah, that kind of sucked. But you know what? I don't care. Next! Alright, um... Alright, so... Wait, wait, where the fuck is the... Alright, you know what? Here. Money bank truck. Not exact from Bach, but you know, it still works. I put a string on it so I can pull it along. It's not pull along. Okay, that was creepy. <coughs> you can pull it along, but it also has a key too, so... You know, on the bottom, whenever you put your coins in, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm, you know, I got a lot of shit right now. And I'm not going to put, I'm not going to waste my time by getting any coins, so. Um, yeah, here's the key. All you have to do is just unlock this. Then it will pop out and then you get your coins. Also, you put them through here, so. Yeah. For all you weirdos out there, that's literally what you do. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I, put, I actually do put a piece of tape on... Um, what is it, on the hood part, I think? I, I'm not even sure if uh, this one does have hood, but you know what? Um, we'll just call it hood from now on. So, I put it on the hood of the uh, truck. You know, for obvious reasons. I was originally going to put it on the top, you know, just to be hilarious. You know, like, driving by with the, like, you know, the key on top instead of a Christmas tree. Also, I think that would have been actually a hilarious joke, too. But, you know, I decided to put it on the hood of the truck. But, yeah, let's just, uh, let's move on. All right, let's move on. Plasma ball over here. Um, seven-inch plasma ball I got back in 2015. Oh, my God, this is going to be a All right, and I put it on sound activated right now. So, I'm obviously just going to do this quick because, you know, it's literally tangled up with my Ferris wheel right here. Okay, oh, magic clock. Don't want it to get anything. But yeah, here it is right here. I mean, you all should know what a plasma wall does. Like, everyone has one, I'm pretty sure. Those of you who don't, then you're a dummy. And that was just another fart joke. But yeah, obviously you guys all know what a plasma wall does, but mine... Also does a sound activated um, a sound activated one too. So, for instance, cool, right? Nope, shouldn't do that. All right, you know what? We'll just uh, put it back over here. Over here on the other side, we got the disco ball. Um, not exact from Bach, but it's the same one Bowie has. Um, I did used to own the exact one, though, when I was little. I actually, used, I actually used to own three of them, actually. Two of them, which one of them was the exact one, was one that my mom got, I think, outside of a place, because, you know, I think it was outside one of her shops. Like, one day, I believe what happened, because I, I don't remember, because this was, like, years ago, when I was still alive. I think it was, like, what, seven, I get think? I think I was seven. But what happened was... Two of them were actually outside of her shop. She used to own a shop. And, um, you know, she just decided to actually take them home and show them to me. I think they were free, though, I think. Obviously, they didn't come with boxes. But one of them actually kind of reminded me of the UFO display. Well, the other one just looked like the, the original from Bach. And I also had a little one, too, that I actually got from Toy St um, that, that I got from New Hampshire Storyland. They actually used to have them back then, um... And I actually remember the first time actually owning one, uh, which was the time I actually went to Storyland. I actually got back in the car after when I got the disco ball, and I was watching Baby Monet. I was like, what, four or five? I think it was like five back then. But yeah, I remember that memory. <coughs> Those were the days. <coughs> and then all of them just broke for somehow. And then I got this one back in like, what, 2015? No, no, 16, 16, sorry. I got this one back in 2016. Alright, so... Alright, now next toy, we got the Dizzy Kitty. This was a toy that my aunt got me back in 2018 for my birthday. Um, and if you guys don't remember that stream that I think Koala, Noah, Alexander, and I forget who else. I, forget, I literally forget. I, I do know that Koala... 
Noah and Alexander were in there. I can't remember who else. Although I do know that Baby V Go um joined a little later. But the the stream was all about the mystery unboxing. I had no idea what my aunt got me for my birthday, and it was very unexpected. <coughs> <coughs> Surprisingly, it was actually the Dizzy Kitty. And not that listing that was back around, like, that time. There was actually one listing that went up to, like, hundred-something dollars. And then it got relisted because... And then it went up for, like, 38 It th- It was actually a listing from the UK. It also had the dog one, too, which I'm not going to show you guys right now. Because, again, I got a lot of toys here. And then... Yeah, that was actually very expect- unexpected. And then, you know, that just gives me the idea, like, you know what, from now on, anything I find in the UK, I'll just send it to my aunt. She'll possibly get it for me for Christmas or my birthday. But yeah, that just gave me the idea. And I think it still works here. Hopefully it didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. All right. Obviously, this is carpet, so it's probably not going to do well, but you know what? Let's just try it anyways. Yeah, it's coming right at me. Okay, yeah, maybe. All right, you know what? Let's just get you out of here. We have a lot more stuff to go. All right, go. Actually, before you go, let me just turn you off. All right, so. All right, um. All right, next toy. We got Gigi Giraffe. Um, a toy that I got... Back in, actually last year for Christmas, this was actually a last year Christmas toy, just like the Sun Pendulum. In fact, they were the only two Bach toys I actually got last year for Christmas. If you, you know, and I actually won the bid. Um, so this one was obviously the same one that Sam has, the George Giraffe House. But you know, I'm still going to call it Gigi though, because you know, fuck it. It's Gigi Giraffe. Although I'm proud to say it is made by Iwea and Discovery Toys. Yeah, I see it. Actually, no, it's just Discovery, not Discovery Toys. Yeah, Discovery, the Discovery Store, actually. But yeah, this one actually came all the way from the UK, so... Not sure if there's a difference between this one and the UK, and the um, Gigi Giraffe, like the original one. Like, I would like to see someone actually own both this one, this the George Giraffe, and the uh, G Giraffe. Because, you know, and then compare them. So I'm pretty sure there might be, like, I don't know, one difference. Or maybe not. But, yeah, I'm still going to call this GG because, you know, it's literally just GG Giraffe. Come on. What, what, like, what is different about this? Seriously. Also, I'm actually also um, great to say that uh, this is actually my... Most favorite Iwea toy out there. My most favorite, actually. And I'm actually really glad to own it. It was It's literally my favorite Iwea toy, actually. So, yeah. Alright, moving on. Actually, let me just put some of these up here first. Again, just like Shakespeare. I always have to shift a lot of things around because I have so much shit down here. Uh, and my parents' home. Hopefully they don't mind. Um, next up, we got the Peekaboo Farm from Bach. Another toy I got from the UK. We have the dog, bird, cow, the chicken, the horse, the cat, and the farmer. Also has that stuff right there, which I don't know what it is. But yet again, this is another toy that I have no idea what um, year this was made in. But you know, due to the conditions of this, it's pretty old. But I actually do love this toy a lot, though. Yeah, I just did that. All right, moving on. Um, what else? All right, here's the accordion. Um, my most, I think my most recent Savers toy that I got from Bach. 
Um, I'm not gonna play it. Actually, I could. I have to do it with my foot. And then this one's an air thing for some reason, although you can still hear it sometimes. Not gonna go through all the details and all that stuff, but you know, it's still the accordion from Box, so that's all I'm gonna say for this for now. Let's put it over here and uh, move on. Next up, we got Snowy Owl. Actually, this was actually the first BE puppet or plush thing that I actually got ever since I got back into BE. And actually, surprisingly, this was not, I did not buy this on Amazon or eBay or anywhere, I actually got, actually my sister actually got this, um, at Barnes and Nobles, this is actually like the only BE puppet that they actually had at Barnes and Nobles back then, for some reason, hang on, uh, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, it's made by Folk Manus. I don't know what year, and I don't also know what, um, actually, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but anyway, but yeah, it's the Folk Manus Owl from Bach. It's the first ever puppet I've actually gotten ever since I got back in the BE. Uh, that's all I'm saying for you right now, but it is pretty cool. I would recommend this, even though it is really common. Um, next up, we are actually getting into the Goldberg now, huh? So yeah, now we're getting into the Goldberg section. So yeah, let's move all the Goldberg toys a little closer here so I can actually take a better look. In fact, I actually own almost every single Goldberg variation toy out there. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get started here. First up, we have the musical carousel, which is made by Batat. This is the Batat one. I also own the red box one too, so. But yeah, but I'm selling the red box one on eBay though. Although it's not really exact for like one thing, but one of the horses are different. But yeah, this is still the, the one from Batat. Alright, so anyways, the attack carousel, um, yeah, this is actually a pretty cool, obviously you can tell, like, a lot of differences from this and the red box one, <laughs> like, for instance, like, it's literally just a little bit darker blue, three horses are four, it's, like, moving, and, like, it's just moving still instead of up and down, and I think it's also a little bit slower, too. <laughs> Oh yeah, and also it's going um it's going um left instead of right. But yeah, pretty cool. Okay, I'm surprisingly knowing that I've been going on for 48 minutes straight, actually 49 minutes straight, and I haven't even gotten a single comment yet. Like what the hell? It's kind of weird though, but you know, I guess I can take it. But it's still I still actually still love this though. I actually got this for a bid, actually, um, this year, and literally, it was like six seconds left of the bid, and I literally just ran downstairs, tossed them on my phone, and she just put in the bid, and we actually won. Literally, just, that's literally just how quick it was. I don't think we were ever that quick before, though. Actually, we were, but, you know, we're only like three seconds that quick. But yeah, but yeah, that's the Batak Carousel. Let's move on to uh, the Ferris wheel. Another one of my favorite BE toys, <coughs> which also I got on Amazon back in 2017. Um, it also came with, I believe, two keys. So one of them is actually up on my shelf with Carlos Cactus. He's guarding it. Hello, Carlos. <laughs> that's been a little weird. All right, but yeah, this does wind up. I was having a little bit of some issues, though, with it at first. Like, it, you know, the thing was a little out of control it was like going a little too fast 
Let me wind it up. Here we go. Again, if this is another one of my favorite toys from Bach and from Einstein in general. It's literally the one of the best. Like, I literally wanted this ever since I was little. Like, ever since I first saw Bach, I literally had my eyes on two toys back then. This and the S-Kinetic. Those were literally just the two toys I literally just had my eyes on. And then I just went into other toys later, like, you know, the next toy we're about to review. Which we'll actually just do right now. Here we have my favorite toy from Bach. And also in BE in general, the Magic Clock. Alright, here is a lo this is one is a very long story. Literally, a very long story. So, you should all know the story about this. How I got the magic clock. Obviously, a lot of people... Alright, so Koala told me one day, I was on the bus going home, and Koala told me that this was on eBay. I thought he was joking his ass off, but, you know, he wasn't. And he sent me, I think he's, no, I, no, I, I, um, checked the listing and there it was, the magic clock, although it's not, it wasn't exact, but you know, I don't give a shit. Like it's still the magic clock. Who cares? It's who cares if it's exact or not. It still doesn't matter. Like literally it's like the best toy ever or you know, maybe not, because it's not even a toy for some. But yeah, I actually still have the box in my closet, though. But, you know, it's... You know, I don't feel like getting it out right now. Because, like I said, for like the 3,000th time already, I got shit everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, the bicker, the usual bickering went on. Like, people were saying, like, Leo's gonna get it, Sam's gonna get it, Koala gonna get it, I was gonna get it. Like, it was just a fight between the four of us, and then, like... VTGs is telling all of us to calm the fuck down and all that shit and you know more chaos happened and then you know I just stepped up and just you know left hangouts for a bit and just like you know told my mom like mom how about you contact the seller because you know obviously none of us could actually get through PayPal's and so we had to contact the seller like and then contact PayPal's and shit, and then, you know, like, we had to literally just wait until 2 in the morning to actually do this shit, so, yeah, it was a lot of shit going on back then, but, you know, it was worth it, and then the seller finally agreed to sell, um, well, actually, the seller, um, told us that they will ship it to the U.S., and, you know, it was possibly the happiest day of my life, because, you know, it's, the magic clock oh shit my battery's low i'll possibly just charge it soon but you know you know i kept it a surprise from like a few people actually no i kept it a, uh, i kept it a secret from everyone and then you know i just shocked everyone like i i just told everyone that i lost it and you know i was pissed on whoever got it leo thought he actually got it but then you know it wasn't true i actually got it so let me just go into details here real fast since you know i'm gonna charge my phone so we have a top hat character. Obviously, if you go into the back, you'll see that it's, you know. Oh, shit. Fucking Maraca Clown. And then, you know, we have the 1998, 1999 face. No, that face. The you know, he's on the magic show. The two stars. And then we go down the bottom. Everyone's favorite part. You got the wizard. You know, the bunny wizard. And then we got a fancy cat with the bird box. You know, that would actually... I'm pretty sure that would be, like, a good horror movie reference. Because, you know, there's actually a horror movie on Netflix called The Bird Box. That's probably a reference to that, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, get it? That was a joke. It, it's funny. But, yeah, you guys all know. I'm actually the characters of the Magic Clock. You know, that's me. I don't care which character I am. I could be the cat. I could be the bunny. I could be both. My soul could be a both, like Chucky from Child's Play. You know, he has two souls, or was it Tiffany? I'm not sure which one, though, but, you know, I'm both of them. 
But yeah, I'm not going to go into actual detail right now about how this works, but, you know, just a quick thing. This is literally how they move. They just don't move, like, by themselves. They just have these things stuck onto them. It's really cool. I actually love this. It's literally my favorite toy in general. And I'm actually very still shocked to this day that I actually own it. Even though I do know that Leo owns it, too. Yeah, let's just have one quick look at it. Very nice. Anyways, um, we have the flipping dog. Not exact, um, though it does. I just only want to do it once. I got this on Office Playground along with a few other things back then. A nice flip, though. Um, although, um, it may not be exact, but it's still kind of the same thing. You know, it's a somersaulting dog. I'm still going to include it in the video, even though it's not exact, though. So, I would still look for the Max the Terror dog. Though, I think this is made from the same company. I think this is made by Westminster. I'm not really sure, but I'm guessing it is. Although, I do know that the, that Jumea made one that's very similar to it. It's, I think it's the same thing, though. But, though, but, you know. Alright, next up. We got the two clowns from Bach. We got Pennywise. We got um, Tim Curry. And we got uh, Bill Skarsgård. Yeah, we got the two Pennywises. I don't know why I just made that joke, though. But, you know, I'm a horror movie guy. So, I always like to make jokes about horror movies. But yeah, the Morocco one here, um, you know, it's a, you know, they're both lineups, so. And then. Yeah, we got issues with the Morocco one tonight. I actually got these on eBay for like 45 bucks when I was in the hospital back in 2017 getting my surgery done. You know, it was those times. Those times. Although the Maracas hat could be loose at some points. Alright. And also, the drumming clown does have an issue with the drum, um, with the thing, so, because, you know, does it at random times. Hopefully it won't get spoked tonight. Alright, um, next toy we have the Papa Pals. Got this back in 2017 for my birthday. I was, you know, I was skipping school and, you know, I went to Barnes and Nobles. And I found this and, you know, I got it. So, you all know what came next. Well, then, like, two months later, I joined the community, so. But, yeah, it's literally the same things as before, although different colors, you know, and design. You know, different design up here, too. I do like the new one, though, too. Although, I did see the old one at my Savers at least one time. Although, the sticker was um, off, but, you know. Actually, it could have been. I don't really remember if it was the exact one, but I'm going to say it, it was, though. Just because, you know, it would sound better. But, yeah, just one more time. Really cool. Yeah, it has a lion, an elephant, a bear, and a dog. Really good choices, though. Love it. Next up, we have two Homerman spheres from Bach. Oh, that caused a final destination to happen. Kind of. Anyways, we have this one. Again, these are both not exact, but you know what? I don't care. Really cool. And this one. There's really nothing to say about these, though, but, you know, they are pretty cool to, like, you know... Watch them as they grow bigger and smaller. But yeah, I do own two of them now. I actually used to own another one, but that broke. You know, I think I might have done a video of it, me destroying it. I don't think I did. But yeah, I did destroy it one time, though. It was actually pretty cool. Not. Anyways, we've got two more toys left, and hopefully my phone will have enough battery to actually do this. we got the Woozit from Bach. The small one. The squeaker, the nose squeaker, it's kind of like Rudolph. We have a mirror, have a, two heart rattles, 
two star rattles, two rings, and the star. Tri uh, no, no, triangle, the triangle uh, crinkle. Also has a mouth too, which actually, no, kind of fun to screw around with. On, oh yeah, now he's pissed. He's pissed that I'm, miss I'm messing around with his mouth. He's kind of like, you know, mouth is kind of like, you know, Grover a little bit. I don't know why, but, you know, kind of looks like it. If you subtract, like, the, the nose and, you know, subtract the mirror, then maybe. I don't know. Just, you know, kind of thought it was, you know, think it was Grover for, like, two seconds. But, you know, it's not. All right, last toy, and then we're ending this. Finally, at last. And I think this might actually break world record, too. For You know, I'm going to try to actually break it world record, too. So, you know what? We're both even. We got the 57 T-Bird from Bach. So, I also, this is also another toy that I got at Savers 2. Um, so, yeah, the um, trunk comes off. Um, you know, the top of the car. Don't know what you call it. Um, the trunk does not um, open, but the hood of the car does. Inside, it has a lot of, like, good shit in there. Plus, you can just put, like, a little Lego figure in there. But yeah, it's also metal, too. Although, I do, um, I didn't have the time to actually scrape some stuff off of there, but, you know, it's really cool. Also, it does have the designs, too, on there. I've also been looking at a lot of people's videos and seeing that they also have, like, pullbacks. I just want to point out that they're wrong that they're, that they don't have the exact ones, because... No, just look at, look at mine, and then look at the videos. How is it not exact? It's literally the same thing. Also, another thing. Um, the car doors can actually open. Both of them. And possibly my favorite part, you can actually steer the wheel. And, the you know, the wheels will actually move too. Cool, right? But yeah, like I said, you can actually put the lid of the car back on so I line it up with the holes oh. I don't know why they actually took off the top part maybe they try to look like a convertible I think maybe also I said it was 57 but actually in reality it's actually 55 I think they actually made a mistake though by saying it was 57 probably it was probably a mistake though but no Still, on the bottom though, it does have that much stuff. And right now, we actually broke a record for the longest BE um, review ever by a minute. Just wow. All right. So, anyways, on the bottom, it just has a bunch of other shit. I don't really, you know, want to go into details. But, um, yeah, that's literally it, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my Baby Bach review. <coughs> <coughs> Although, this did break the record from Shakespeare. From being the longest BE review ever. Hopefully, that's not the case from Language Nursery and Mozart. Because we're going to be doing those next. Although, speaking of Language Nursery, that will possibly be the next review that will be coming up next month on January 31st. And even though that I will be missing Bach's birthday on by the time, I'll possibly be reviewing something at that time, though. Don't worry. I will be. Hell, maybe it might be actually a toy that I have, that I have actually gotten um, before I started this channel. Maybe. Or maybe I could actually do a viewer's request, you know, like, comment down, like, tell me what toy you guys want me to actually like, do for a free clip, or, um, um, you know, just, you know, do it in general, who knows, although I will be using Streamlabs, though, so, you know, I don't want anyone commenting on there, so, if I'm gonna be doing free clips, though, but yeah, guys, that is it for the video, until then, I am signing out, so, yeah. Bye. Actually, I'm just going to play the magic clock for another 10 seconds. I'll just go. Bye.